We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made on wooden guards. Delightful. Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Looks familiar, but different. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred.
Ah, here we go. Counselor to kings, Mary Wanderer of the Woods, Robin of the Goodfellas. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Go! Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Came from a rogue core! Bloody hell, look at that thing! It's vulnerable when it blows! Attack! Another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! Oh, that 
one's official. Imagine them thinking I had any desire. Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree. You sought favor. You plotted his wars. You watched him destroy everyone and everything. And you never get my day until you turn on you! I know, Seagram. It's true, all of it. But for the love of you, I became a better man. A counsel of a beast, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scotty? To Troma? Or to Tanya? No! You ought to decide the powerful men you use! Brother, watch out. There's more of them. Even now. You see a violent gun in me, and you can't help but age him and call him brother. It's who you are. Who you are. And it's who you are. It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree is pulling me in. Mimir! Mother, help me! Monsters! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared if you see him the way he wants to be seen. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. 
That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns tentatively. Finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> the 
Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <clears throat> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall. And no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe. The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns.
Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. That ought to hurt him. May it strike true. Cool. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. Hope it's to your liking. Kratos? What can I make for you? Hearts and the fury of the sky. I'll disinfect my tools. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. 
I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say... We but must go. all that side for the moment. Is there anything else? You're back. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. At your service. I'll take them. Ooh, these will look fantastic in my storage chest. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. I can't fathom what they have in mind, but if it's a weapon against Heimdall, we can use it. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. Son, we... Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. 
Mm. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no! This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I You heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a Lear been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be as That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, red light. Might have earned that one. Why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Oh! 
Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. take Rock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. Oh! <laughs> 
bloody heartier sort of grim. These will be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. That worked. Yeah. You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might be. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the reason of protecting your child can take. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Now where have they got the third one hidden away? Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world.
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your face. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite yeah. enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. Not for me to say. All right, let's get that wheel turning. That's a start. Ah, teamwork. Two of them, and they're angry. for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> 